Hi, I'm Alexander and uh, I'm a bespoke cutter and tailor. I've been in tailoring for about almost seven years and uh, I run the cutting room 1982 Atelier. I wasn't expecting myself to be in the tailoring industry, uh, even though my mother and uncle has been in this industry for several decades. So uh, I, I, it was right out of national service, I just decided you know, to, to step into the business to help my mother. And that's where I also started picking up cutting, jacket cutting for my uncle. And uh, I think it's, a, it's also my personality that uh, I like to be very actively involved in the process of creation. And so when, once I started picking up jacket cutting, uh, I became obsessed with uh, exploring different ways and, and learning all there is. So and, and it's, a, it's an endless journey. Traveling overseas to work under different master tailors uh, is uh, definitely a wonderful experience. Uh, although it can be stressful as well because uh, you you've got to be able to deliver value. But the best things is that you get to see how things are done differently. Uh, in, in, in London, they do things in a way, and in Italy, they do things in another way. Uh, it's definitely worth all traveling outside of my comfort zone to see how bespoke tailoring is conducted in different areas. So the Cutting Room 1982 is actually a new direction to help my mother pivot the business because uh, my mother runs a shirt making business and we do produce for some of the tailors in the local industry. Looking at the trend for the past couple of years and I think uh, it's, it's a necessary move to pivot ourselves and while not neglecting the value that we want to bring to the market. So with the Cutting Room 1982, we want to de deliver value in two ways. Firstly, is the quality of our creations. Secondly, is through the grooming of younger talents. That is in our way to, to give back to the industry. So my day starts with a cup of black coffee because without coffee, I can't do any work. And then uh, I'll, I'll start on the task that is at hand. It can be between the, the task in the pipeline, working together with my apprentices and also meeting clients. So uh, generally, it's, it's pretty intensive because uh, you, know, you just work with your hands non-stop and then you take a, another coffee break in the late afternoon to keep the mind active. So that, that is pretty much what the day looks like and it, it, it can even extend into the weekends. So for the cutting room bespoke process, it's very simple. It all starts with the client's body because uh, how we view tailoring is not so much of numbers, it's not about measurements, it's about understanding the, the details and specifics of the client's anatomy. So from there, we develop a pattern. So I do the cutting personally for jacket and trousers, and uh, we create a prototype. The prototyping is a very important part of our process because it allows us to further understand how the result will look on look like when it drapes onto the client. So from the prototype, we'll work on the actual fabric uh, by improving it and that is how we take these steps to ensure we achieve uh, the best position. Looking at the nature of uh, where we are in the world, we have a very unique culture in Singapore that is different from the culture in Europe so we don't really see a lot of uh, enthusiasm when it comes to dressing. Uh, however, that is where we look at our philosophy, you know, we try to keep ourselves within the, the rationale of doing what we are doing because we are passionate about it and not be, not be really swayed by the market demands. And generally, I think uh, there is a good potential for us to progress as long as we stay, we stay focused on the value that we are delivering to our clients and the industry. everyone has their own strengths. So for us, uh, for the cutting room is very straightforward. Our strength is really, our foundation in fact, is really to look at the quality that we are producing and be honest with ourselves because uh, whereas handwork is concerned, there'll be days, you know, we outdo ourselves, there'll be days we underperform. So we have to be very honest. Uh, that is how we, we focus on the quality aspect and the integrity in our craft. And that is really what, uh, what we strive on. For the cutting room. 
I had the opportunity to speak with TFTC uh, on a couple of occasions, and uh, I, I think it's impressive that we have uh, we share alignment in certain values, which is to contribute to the industry in terms of cultivating talents, especially the younger talents. And our age today, where the, the whole industry runs heavily on a, a production outsourcing model, I think it's more important than ever to really put in what we can to groom the younger talents. I think apprenticeship is a very important culture because if we look at Japan, we look at South Korea, uh, they have a very impressive culture and tradition of uh, imparting the skills to the younger generation. And I believe that uh, by doing the same thing, we are able to keep the industry sustainable. We are able to ensure that there's always a, a, a good pool of talents in the industry and I, I think uh, we have a lot more to learn from uh, these places. We always go back to the question which is to ask ourselves why are we doing this in the first place which is of course uh, it always comes back to being passionate about tailoring. So whether with or without COVID-19 we'll still be doing, we'll still be carrying out our work in uh, the area of bespoke tailoring. For the cartoon 1982, there's a new creation, it's a new direction to pivot my mother's business while trying to create more value and meaning in the work we do at the same time. And uh, I am proud that we, we just finished our first batch of jacket uh, drafting program and we look forward to imparting the skills to more passionate individuals in 2022. And for myself on a personal level, is to keep refining the skills that I've acquired and uh, to keep pushing and challenging myself to become an even better cutter and tailor. I do hope and look forward to having you join me as an apprentice and uh, look forward to us working together.